hi guys welcome back to my channel so if you're new here my name is jackie and before we get into this video <laughs> okay don't mind my hair that's one so before you get into this video guys i want to thank the 500 plus of you who subscribed to my channel so finally we got to 500 subscribers and i'm so happy guys thank you so much thank you thank you so road to a thousand so guys i'm so happy you don't even know um so uh today is when today is when today is when today is wednesday so uh, i want to go to the market oh my, uh, honestly guys i've not been to the market for a while i don't even know why i've been surviving on buying like a few things here and there every day from like my hope uh, my local grocery lady so i want to go to the market buy a few things and then i'm going to be showing you what we get so this is a gross green grocery haul video and also uh i'm going to throw in there how you can store your vegetables and fruits to make them stay a bit longer so let's get into this video Hi guys so as you can see you can clearly see i'm back from the market and my table is full of healthy things i would say so uh some of the things unfortunately i didn't get from the market so pass by the supermarket to get those but it's just a few things um yeah so let me show you a close up look of everything i got and then i'm going to be telling you how much each item costs from the market already seen you know everything i've bought so uh something else i passed by kenya meat commission and i got some meat guys why didn't y'all tell me that meat there is a bit cheaper so and actually it's not so far from me so that was a plus uh i got i didn't get a lot so got uh one kg so one kg was going for 470 shillings while uh from my local butchery i get it at like 540 so you see i saved quite amount so i got uh two kg of the meat so this is meat on bone 
so 470 bob for that and then this is minced meat guys so the minced meat was going for 650 shillings per kg so also saved a lot because i usually buy uh, buy meat from usually sell the one kg at around 700 and something plus like 700 plus so yeah that's a plus and then got these sausages they are big sausages also and they're going for 200 bob guys 200 bob for this so uh that's all i got from kenya meat commission definitely we'll be going there because i've saved a lot so let's move on to the veggies so guys um i'm going to start off by showing you the potatoes so this uh was going for 250 but the power of bargaining guys so i got it at 200 bob so yeah 200 bob for the potatoes uh guys i'm sorry i have to keep on putting them on the counter because uh my table is almost full so yeah and then let's move on to the onions so i got these onions uh, they were selling three for 20 shillings so i got for 140 bob it's quite a lot guys so three for 20 at my local area this one is like 10 shillings guys like one for 10 so got the onions and then green peas so uh this one i bought for 230 so one tin the small one was going for 130 so i bought two and this is quite a lot so i'm just going to peel them then pre-boil them freeze them as easy as that so i quite i find this quite cheaper from the market if you buy them and then you remove yourself like you peel them yourself so yeah on to the next item so got these bananas for 150 so one banana is 10 shillings we've already feasted on some so yeah so 150 for the bananas and and then my favorite 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 thing let me show you guys so these guys i was like where have i been why have i not been going to the market so this one uh so they were selling three for ten shillings like three for ten bob guys i have been buying like one cabanch like this for five shillings you guys so three for ten i bought uh for 20 bob and i got an extra one so you see guys the advantage of going to the market you just you know bargain kidogo kidogo you save a few and they'll add something on top so you see i have an extra bunch of them here so on to the next item where do we go where do we go so let me finish this banana so we got some matoke uh they were selling three for 20 shillings so this actually i'm going to cook this for supper but I've changed my mind i'm going to cook this tomorrow so all this for 100 bob plus one extra <laughs> so i got an extra uh banana right there and then guys i think out of everything else that i bought today these pixies are are they called pixies i hope i'm pronouncing the name right so uh they were selling uh one kg at a hundred shillings guys try buying this from the supermarket and <laughs> you tell me i'm fuko so uh i got quite a few because these are a hot cake in my house i'm sure this will be gone in like four days literally four days and they are extra sweet so what happened <laughs> i had uh bought one kg of the pixies so when i went uh, uh back to the car we washed one ate one and they were super super sweet <laughs> so i had to go back and get 
some more my baby actually loves this so this was actually one of my best buys today so yeah and then let's go ahead so something else i didn't get like from the market even these ones yes i get i got them like from the market but as you can see they are not as fresh as you know i would like them to be so they didn't have the green papers like i looked everywhere but uh so i got a guy who was selling these ones at 10 shillings and i wouldn't say they are bad so quite good so one for 10 bob i got five so that's 50 bob and then some ginger if you've been following me then you definitely know ginger is a must in this house because ginger tea food you need ginger things like that so we love ginger so i got uh, one was going for 20 bob i got five of the of this and then garlic 20 bob each got five of this so yeah then uh we also bought some tomatoes so uh how much were they selling them so three for 20 bob right three for 20 bob and as you can see quite a lot guys <laughs> one tomato 10 shillings at my local area so definitely a sale for so i bought uh this one how many how much how much 200 bob so 200 bob for the tomatoes these guys will last they last quite a while i'm going to be showing you uh in a bit how i store my tomatoes because i don't put them in the fridge and guys i've been doing this for almost a year and it works so well trust you me guys this is a. am going to be showing you how i i store them so yeah so uh, actually i also mixed like the ripe and the unripe ones just to make sure that like, they don't all get ripe at the same time and i have to use them all so yeah so mix them as you can see these ones are a bit uh raw so then these ones ripe so yeah so that's for the tomatoes then uh got a pineapple so i'm really hoping this is sweet guys because if it's not <laughs> oh my god so this was a hundred bob try to bargain but guys you can't also bargain a lot and then you know times are hard everywhere so got this one for a hundred bob it's quite huge actually i don't know if you can see it it's quite huge so got one pineapple and then got this melon for a hundred shillings so melon a hundred bob and then uh avocados so got this avocados avocados <laughs> avocados for 20 bob imagine you guys this whole avocado 20 shillings yay i would have bought like 40 bob so i got uh, three of these like guys so bonus and then went ahead bought some oranges one was was it 10 bob so 10 bob guys one orange 10 bob so i got five of them that's 50 bob and then i also got some maize I'm already guys if you've watched my previous vlogs you already know my farm loves boiled maize so breakfast we sorted so yeah so i'm going to boil this and then i got eggplants so one was 10 shillings i think yes yes no 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 we are selling three for 20. three three for 20 guys three three for 20 and i got a bonus <laughs> Do you see guys when i tell you the amount of bonuses i've gotten today i've saved a lot so yeah so i got for uh i got for 20 40 bob sorry 40 shillings and then we have 
cabbage 50 shillings guys a quarter of this cabbage nije pa na 30 bob a quarter 30 bob see it's this whole cabbage 50 bob wow <laughs> anyway so so these are buys from the supermarket because i didn't get these things from the market or they were there but mm, they were not as fresh as i wanted them to be so grabs from the supermarket 350 shillings but guys let me tell you i saw these things in the market i asked the lady she was like it's 300 bob i was like ah I didn't even like it. I was like, ah, I'll get them from the supermarket. You see, now I've lost 50 shillings. Anyway, lesson learned. <laughs> and then I got these apples. So, one apple, 40 shillings. So, I got how many? How many? No, no, no. Six. I got six apples. And then she got some carrots for. Let me see. 200 bucks so carrots 200 shillings also i had seen carrots from the market but i don't know i just feel like they are kidogo sana like five carrots for 100 bob you guys unless i'm going to the wrong bucket because i don't know i thought there'll be more so carrots for 200 bob what have i not shown you guys so uh arrow roots yeah right loma arrow roots uh, from the supermarket as well and then I also got some sweet potatoes 94 shillings so breakfast these ones were how many how many how much how much so these are two guys I can't see the tag so anyway I'm going to insert the price opportunity so yeah so basically that's everything and the next part is cleaning oh my god that's i don't know i think that's my best part cleaning everything and then store uh the things i'm supposed to put in the fridge store those and then yeah so i'm going to show you how i store my veggies just to last them a bit longer uh, i'm not sure how long this will last us but we'll see so let's get to the sink so some of the things that do not need washing are like potatoes and onions. Also, I don't wash my tomatoes when I'm storing them. I just wash them when I'm using, like when I'm cooking them. So let me show you how I store the potatoes. Uh, basically, you just place them in an airy place. Make sure it's you know does not have moisture. Things like those. So yeah, they'll last you quite a while. So yeah. Uh, guys, this is how I store my tomatoes. I will either use this uh, type of paper. If you don't have this, then you can definitely use this or the one for uh, is it with flour? Yeah, the one for maize flour, <laughs> maize flour, or this one for wheat flour. So you can use either, and then just put them here and then just seal them nicely. Guys, your tomatoes will last like for a while when i say for a while for like even two weeks trust me guys this is out of experience so try it and then come back and tell me
so guys uh someone guess in the comment section how old these carrots are because you'll not believe it guys these carrots are almost one month old and can you see how fresh they look so i'm going to show you in a while in a while uh how i store them and how to keep them uh fresh and how to keep them staying fresh and stay longer so yeah guys as you can see we got a, a quite a good amount of meat so two kgs of meat that's a lot guys right i hope it's a lot <laughs> so i'm just going to put those in the freezer so i had to like uh, chop them into small pieces remove them from the freezer for boiling i don't have to chop them up so yeah so that's why i chop them into small pieces and then for the mincemeat divided them into two and these tiny two dishes so basically these ones are for my baby in case i just want to fix something quickly I get this out so i don't need to get like the whole bunch out so i'm going to put this in the freezer and then i'll be right back so guys for my sausages you already know so you're going to divide them into three since we are three so this is what i do because i don't want to keep one like getting them out of the freezer and defrosting them all the time so you can try this so i'm just going to wrap them uh, with the cling film then throw that in the freezer as well so yeah guys as you can see everything is nice and clean so already washed everything so i'm going to go ahead and show you how i store everything in the fridge so apart from the bananas of course <laughs> everything else goes in the fridge so so guys i'm going to start with my Dania, so I'm going to chop off the root like so. Then I'm going to use this container and just place a couple of paper towels in there. I'm going to place two. So these ones will help in like uh, absorbing the moisture just to make sure you Dania stay nice and fresh so they will be as nice as you bought them like fresh 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 again. then on to the next so this is where I told you I'll show you the magic so just get fresh water make sure it's fresh guys and then just dip your carrots in there also guys don't forget to change your water after four days or five days just to make sure that uh you like clean the bacteria off in case like they've absorbed any bacteria as well so make sure to change your water and also remember to clean them before cooking so yes i've already cleaned them but uh before cooking i'll also wash them again and there you go guys then just cover cover your carrot so there you go guys a whole month so next uh these berries so uh i'm going to put them back in the container that i bought with so just place a couple of paper tiles in there and 
them back. So I like washing mine before I put them in the fridge because my girl will just open the fridge and find them and she'll start eating them. So I need them to be clean, <laughs> you guys. You guys, so just gonna cover them like that. So, uh, so a pack for bananas, guys. So, in case you don't want like the bananas to ripen, like at the same time, what you do, just tie a cling film here. So. Let's tie. You just make like tie this area like that. So you just slow down the process of like them ripening. That's all. So this will not go in the fridge, of course. I'll just place the uh, this in my fruit basket uh, on the counter. So that's the bananas. So next, um, so these are recycled um, containers, I had bought lettuce with them, so they're definitely good for storage, so I'm going to recycle them. So, let me get something to wipe these green peppers, so I'm going to store my green peppers here. So my green peppers and the eggplants i have two of these so in case one doesn't fit um definitely going to go ahead and use the other one so i'm going to mix them just because i don't want all the time uh, like i'll be removing the clean film and then putting a new one that's just wastage so i'm just going to mix them uh when you open one you can get get like any of them so Film. I really wish they had like um, a lid on them. That would be really nice. But you work with what you have. So. put in our apples so I'll just I'll, I'll put like the six I'll put four and then two on my fruit basket just because There you go. And there you go. So the next one, uh, the pixies, you're going to put them inside inside this container. So I'll also leave some for well, my food. So next, guys, I'm going to store my ginger. So that's quite easy, just wrap them in cling film.
You might be wondering why I've wrapped this one as a single bachelor. Anyway, so I'm just wrapping it as one because um, I don't also want to like wrap a lot and then you have to remove all the time wastage of cling film. So you use one at a time. So yeah. And we are done guys so that's it So guys, before I forget, uh, you can also store your lettuce in this paper. So I bought this how many days ago, like four days ago. You can see they are still fresh. So yeah. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video till the end. If you've not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up if you like this kind of content. And guys, we are on the road to a thousand subscribers. Please subscribe if you've not. And I hope you enjoyed everything. So I will see you on my next video. Bye.